So why do we need an email automation? <clears throat> See, there will be two scenarios. There will be two actions we can say. Reading the emails. Sending the emails. So these are the two actions we generally perform uh, to interact with any people or any market or to the customers or like to other persons, right? So read like whatever the emails we received, we will be reading it out and whatever the emails we want to send, we will be sending it out. So the actions will be two comparatively, but what is the purpose of email automation in our process automation along with the regular things? We forgot about uh, the emails which we will be receiving in our as per our business process and what are the emails we are going to send to any as part of our business process, except these two, what are the other importance of email automation? The first thing is interacting with the stakeholders as part of process. Okay. And what is the other importance of this email automation? Notification. Notification emails is, will play a, a crucial role along with the process, whatever we defined as part of our regular process automation. Okay, so what does it mean? Sending notification to the user and support team for completion or error or start of the process. So it all depends on. The requirements uh, it will keep on changing. OK. So. And even in process also. Um, we see, let us take the scenario. Need to perform. Day end activity. in a financial organization. Which means. Making all the. Consolidations. Of the. Customer. Business data. And then. Send the information on an email. So this is one scenario where <coughs> as part of your daily activity. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. But for that, we need to use integration services Satish. Directly we don't have, but uh, uh, we need to have uh, like integration services in place. So with that, we can trigger the process and as part of our process, we are going to use this email trigger only like by sending an invoice to the email. The process is going to kick start. So this is one scenario. 
and the other scenario is as you said, right? Robot will receive an email with invoices and need to extract them and enter the information in payments application okay so till this place it is very clear and easy right like it is just a high level and now let us come to the actual scenarios actual things what email activities email activity types we have in ui path can anyone tell me that? Anyone, guys? So, have you heard of Outlook, SMTP, IMAP, POP3, Exchange? So, we have these many type of activities. So, what actually these are? what actually these are and what is the major difference between these three all see there is no difference in terms of action they perform right but yes exactly but why we have different names is very simple. These are different protocols. The protocol in the sense, the way they access the email, so what method it is using to access the emails that we call it as a protocols. OK, and. What are the other differences here? So, Outlook. Read, send, both actions can be performed. SMTP is to only send the emails. IMAP is to read the emails. POP3, I was not aware and I never used. Let us see.
when this is also to read the emails with some limitations. Read send both actions can be performed. <coughs> so these are the major differences. We have other differences as well. So let me go here. Here, no credentials and additional information is required. And whatever activity we have, we can directly drag and drop that and we can use it related to the outlook. We need to provide server, username and password. OK, and this information you'll get from your IT. It is not necessary for us to. Uh, search for this information that will be provided by that. Except this, everything will be same. Even here also same, here also same. And here also same. port is not required. Server, username and password. These are required. So if you see Outlook, right? It doesn't require any credentials. You can use that as it is. But what limitation does Outlook have? Outlook need to be installed and the account needs to be configured. So here on the machine where the robot is running, there Outlook need to be installed and the email account to which the robot is interacting or using for sending or reading the emails needs to be configured. No application dependence. On the machine, but need to do some configurations on Azure. Okay. So these are the differences between these protocols. And the questions will be more targeted on top two questions and this point also. OK. And now here comes the next question. Here comes the next question. Which protocol we need to use? So when we are starting with our project, we should decide, right? Like what type of activities we want to use and how we are going to decide on it. What is the suggested way and how we are going to take the decision? Which one is suggestible suggested? Anyone guys? Think, think, I'll give you two more minutes. Think and let me know. What is the suggested way and how we can decide which one is suggestible? 
You did via Outlook. OK. Depends on the requirement. So uh, the requirement here is like. Uh, you need to read and write the emails. Read and send the emails. That is my requirement. Business requirement is only that. But how do you how are you going to decide? There is URL in Outlook. I open that URL and log into the email box and perform the operation. OK. Let us have the. Pro, pros and cons of each uh, uh, in terms of process and security and all right. So first thing is. If any. Activity. Or action can be performed. Without. Having any dependency. Should be. Taken into. Priority. See, I'll tell you the reason. Let us suppose your outlook is got hanged, or for some reason your outlook is not working. Then your process will be stopped, or it will be blocked. So, in case if you have some integration with the email protocols, and it can be performed without having any application in between, then that is a suggested way. Which means your outlook will be my least priority. Based on this particular point. OK. Hard to get or IT denied. Sharing. SMTP or IMAP. Or. Exchange details. Then we will. Use Outlook. And will I let that in case if outlook got hanged or closed? Then process cannot send emails or read emails. It should not be closed because see you will not see here in this in this we have two points. If something is got hanged, then obviously you cannot send or read the emails. If it is closed, right here it will close. It will throw an error. <coughs> Like uh, it is taking too long a time or <clears throat> timeout exception you'll get. But in if it is closed, right? You will not get any error, but the email will not be sent. When you open your Outlook, then the emails will be sent. So let us suppose my Outlook is closed and I try to send an email through my robot. It will be in the outbox or somewhere till the time I open that Outlook. Because the Outlook protocol will completely use your Microsoft Outlook, which is installed on your machine. So till the time. We open the Outlook ma mailbox. It will not send out the emails and let us suppose. <coughs> we executed our process at now 1045 and I opened the mailbox in the evening. So from 1045 to evening, there will not be any email communications sent out. OK, 
so that is the challenge with the outlook next point outlook in outlook email account should be configured and we generally robots will be configured with service accounts not with our user accounts because the user accounts will have multi factor authentication like otp will be coming to your uh, mobile and the verification will come but for the service accounts we can bypass that um, otp concept that we call it as a um, mfa um, multi factor authentication so that can be bypassed and that is the reason for which we generally use the service accounts to for the uh, machines where the robots are running and <clears throat> these credentials are accessible across the team and anyone can use the same mailbox so ideally i don't want to give access of this outlook mailbox or this particular email account to anyone i want only the robot to send and there might be a possible that like this can be accessed by someone else also even by mistake also right like when you got came across some issue and you are you are just taken that vm and you are identifying the issue and if you send out an email by mistake also instead of sending it from your email account that will be a challenge right these are very small things but in organization right these things will matter a lot okay so what is the conclusion here this is my opinion it, it it's not necessary to be true but outlook will be my last priority it is a least priority item for me okay and i'll try to go with exchange in 99% of the scenarios the reason is exchange can be used only if we have emails from o365 in case if we have from the o365 then only we can use the exchange protocol exchange protocol is microsoft's protocol and let us suppose your organization is going with google emails in this case you cannot go with exchange you need to go with smtp and and imap smtp is to send the emails and the imap is to read the emails these are the two different protocols though you have the google email activities but i'm just saying these are the better ways to do that okay so clear guys till this plus now you have any queries so what are the different actions we can perform other than reading and writing the emails right get mail messages with all the different protocols then mail messages 
with all the protocols. Save attachments. Delete mail messages. Move mail messages. mail message. So these are the different activities we have and we can perform inside of our UI path. OK, these are the different activities we have in terms of email automation in UI. Path. So. Tell me. What actually each will do? This will read the emails from targeted folder. I'll show you this folder concept also. And sends the email. Save the attachments received in email. Delete the emails. I'm not sure whether we have for all the protocols or not. Let us see. We'll open and see this inside that uh, or um, UI path. Move mail message. Move emails from one folder to other folder. Save mail message. Saves the email message in dot eml format like we have dot txt file dot pdf file right in the similar way it will save the email in dot eml format and you can view this email at any point of time as and when it is required so these are the different actions we can perform and as part of our session site right, what different protocols we are going to look into we are going to look into outlook Because accept the connection, all the other actions, whatever we are going to perform will be same. That you will get to know by covering this Outlook. SMTP and IMAP. We'll cover this too. And as part of our hands on. Exchange, I'm not sure whether we can do that now because previously uh yeah this can be a, a good a very good um, uh, challenge we can put in front of the interviewer uh so for exchange right previously it was easy to access but now the things got changed exchange previously we used to access through ews which means Change web services. We just need to enable this exchange web services from the O365, Office 365, Admin Console, and then we can utilize this directly by providing your domain name and username and password. Now, this is basic authentication. Okay. From Jan 2023, Microsoft deprecated basic authentication. And now we need to follow modern authentication. For this, we need to create an app uh, in O365 app in Azure and we need to give the permissions and then build from there we need to access. Also, a lot of things, a lot of things got changed for accessing this O365. All right. And we migrated all the activities related to email because of this deprecation. 
So this we can put it as one of the challenge we face during our experience. OK. So are you guys clear till this place? OK, we'll break for 10 minutes and then we'll jump into your past studio. OK.
So we are installing it. Let us wait for this to be get installed and then we can start with this. Yeah, other thing which I missed out is in case if you want to use the Outlook, right? You need to have your O365 or Outlook licensed. Without that, we cannot use this Outlook activities. So that is one more dependency. So we can write this point here installed licensed you need to have the outlook license so in case if i'm just doing only the operations then why should i go for the license uh, <coughs> on a machine like let us suppose if it is on one machine we will go for it and let us assume that your process is supposed to run on multiple machines like around 10 to or 10 robots or some number of robots, right? So why should I uh, spend money on the license again? So to avoid that, we can leverage these other <coughs> prototypes. Sorry, protocols. OK, the installation is done. And let me go to First, let me go to the Excel. Why am I going there? So I need to click on sign in here. I'll use my existing credentials. So I want to sign into all the Microsoft 365 apps. So now all my applications will get licensed. Done. Continue. So it is done now. I accept. So now it has got license. I can close this and let me open my Outlook. I will not use this account. I'll use a different account. It is getting confused. So this is fine. Click on done.
So now, so we got this configured now. So let us go go ahead and like open UiPath Studio. Email automation. By default, we will be having mail activities configured. So it is not necessary to import anything. But if we come here, just search in a mail. So we got all like IMAP, we got Outlook. So we have uh, delete as well. There are a lot of activities, right? See, uh, these categories we will be using very hardly, like in case if you are having categories and if you want to have. One second, guys. Okay, so we will be having uh, like a rip, we can reply on top of the same email. So based on our requirement, we will be using, but most we will use is like get Outlook mail message, move Outlook mail message, send Outlook mail message, and we'll see save and other also. But these are the major. And pop, we can read the email. We cannot perform anything, but using IMAP, you can move into the folders as well. And for SMTP, we'll be sending it out. We can use the save email message to save your emails and save attachments to save your attachments. So what we will do is we'll perform the actions on top of Outlook. And for IMAP and SMTP, we will see like how we can configure and send and read the emails. Okay. And for now, let us go with the get Outlook mail message as a starting point. So we are using this get Outlook mail message and we have all the properties. So account, this option will be required in case if we have multiple accounts configured. If you see here, if I come to the file, I have only one account configured here. If I configure one more account, then we need to provide from which account the bot needs to read. In case if you are having single account, it is not necessary to give. And the mail folder is from which folder you want to read. We have folders here, inbox, drafts, sent items, deleted items, archive. So we just need to give the folder names. Let me do one thing. Let me create a new folder under this. So I created a new subfolder here. Okay, let me delete this as well. We move this to this. So we have one email here, one email here. Okay. And we can even read from the sub folders also. And the filter is on which basis you want to filter your email, like based on subject or a sender or date received. So we can write the filter expression here to get that. And filter by message IDs. So this I never used and it's a new field which is got added. 
and i we can we can just ignore this because uh, we will not get the message ids directly right before we start with this okay probably this will be this filter by message ids right it will be in integration along with the integration service we might be using it even this out out uh, outlook mail trigger also will be using from there i guess okay so for now we will be ignoring get outlook mail message and sorry sorry this this property and also this out outlook mail message trigger this will cover as part of our process mark as read as soon as we get the emails if we want to mark those as read like new emails will be whatever we received right that will be unread so we will see that for now we are just unchecking it and only for uh, read only from the unread message mail messages in if i if we select this right this will not return anything as of now because everything is marked as read and in which order you want to have like whatever we received recently as your first or whatever we recent a long back will be your first and top 30 in the sense it will return you like a uh, top 30 email messages which are available and the output will be list of mail messages here again it is a list because you are reading you have the capability of reading more than one so let us create an output variable here list mail messages and this data type will be list of mail message object system dot collections dot generic dot list system dot net dot mail dot mail message so now whatever we have with the configurations right we can go with this let us do one thing let me put three now okay and let us loop through each mail message for each activity and we can just give the output variable of outlook okay and now we will write a log message and we can write the information whatever we want to have so here this is of type mail message object because it's a list of mail messages this will be of our mail message object and we can even rename this also uh, outlook mail okay and now we can write outlook mails dot once we hit the dot we will be seeing all the methods so if you want to have what actually we have in this like we'll go with the subject subject we have subject so the subject method will give you what are the subject of the emails which we retrieved using this activity and we are saying three and we have checked as unread so let us run and see we will not see anything in the output panel because we don't have any unread emails see this we don't have anything and let us uncheck this and run this see here we got microsoft learn profile update start learning ai with github copilot and ui automation these are the three we got see we we could able to see only one right but if you go to the other here you have these two which are later than this this we received on 8th of may and here we received on 25th and 16th that is the reason for which these two also came into the picture and then we got this and let us mark this to unread and now let us check this checkbox and run this we got only one which means it is giving us only the unread emails and this is not marked to be read right this was like still unread message and let us check this property mark as read okay and run this now it was marked as read and now if i run right i don't have anything so in case if you check these two check boxes on turned on right 
what will happen is whatever the new messages you are getting you will be reading it one time and again you are not going to read so you can avoid the duplication here with the help of this okay and now we are reading from the inbox right let us uncheck this too and i want to read from the subfolder so let me copy this i always go for go to this rename and copy because i don't want to have a, even a space spelling mistake so to read from the subfolder i'll just put slash and this and let us run this view see here welcome to your free ui path cloud automation platform which mail we we have in this so we can read from the subfolders also let us move this file from this subfolder to inbox back how we can do is we have the move outlook mail message activity and inside that we just need to give the folder name so my folder name is inbox so we need to give the destination folder and the mail message is our mail message object so let us run this and let us see we don't have anything in the subfolder we got this here okay so now we received a mail message of list of mail messages and we can loop through each mail message and now what i want to do is i want to have the emails which i received from this particular name only i don't want to have the other name other emails i want to have only from this particular name so if i if i run this right with the inbox let us run this we got three emails right so what i will do is what we can do is like in case if you want to have only from that particular sender right what i can do is i can put an if condition here outlook mail dot sender dot display name equal to this then write him log messages so i want to perform actions only in case the dis sender display name is this and instead of display name also you can go to email it's not a problem let us run this flow see here we have top 3 right and let me write a log messages here also with a different color uh, i'll tell you why we will be getting this different colors in the later stage so we will write the same subject line so in the normal color whatever we have right it will be for the condition which we are meeting it out and the others will be with a red color see here the condition whatever we are meeting right so we have in the correct color and the others are in the red color like what this activity is doing it is giving you all the three emails and it is checking the display name and then it is returning then why should i read if something is not required for me right and what will happen uh, see now we have only three so it is easy to loop through let us suppose if i am reading 100 emails then looping is bit hard right and the filter you can have double quotes square brackets sender equal to or
click on OK. Let us run this. Even I was not sure whether this query is correct or not. We'll see. Condition is not valid, which means it is not working out. So let us go to. Let us do one thing first. Let me go with the subject first. Oh, like instead of sender, right? Let me write from. Perfect. Now it is not even reading the others. It is reading only from whatever the display name we give. And let us suppose I will go with. Um, so we have two, right? Microsoft Edge. These are from the Microsoft Edge name. Let us put this name. Click on OK. Let us run this one. OK, I'm putting this condition, right? That is the reason for which it is coming in this way. Let us do one thing. Now we are not putting any condition. We are just putting the condition in the filter directly to get me the mail messages from this particular edge. If you see, right, all these three emails are not the top emails. So based on the filter, it is returning me the top three emails. Here it is. So based on the filter condition, it is returning me. And you can have this filter even for the subject also, even for the date also. So this filters, right? Like what are the filter format? You can search in the Google, but for subject, it will be like subject. And I can go to this. Uh, UI automation, right? And you can have multiple conditions also. UI automation. And this filter property is much more important because the people will ask. In the interviews, this is a bit more important. This filter property. Because other things can be done easily, right? It's not necessary for you to change anything. By default, you can work, but here in the filter, you need to do. OK, let us do one thing. If you see right here, we have save mail message and save outlook mail message. What is the difference between these two? Let us do one thing. I'll save it on downloads. And the file name optional if we are not giving it will go and save at the subject line and you can select in which format you want to have so i'll go with msg or i can go with html i'll go with html and see and let us run this flow before we run we'll use the same same mail as message activity also and the mail message activity is this and this i'll store in different folder uh, I'll store it in the documents. You know? I'll go to C drive, users, admin. Also, documents. I'll save it here. Outlook mail message saving, we are doing it in the downloads, and this save mail message will be doing in this. And this is a new activity. Previously, we don't have this. We used to save in this. And even for HTML also, how we generally used to do is dot body as HTML. We have, right? So we used to use this body as HTML method in order to save it to 
HTML. We will be getting the text and we used to save that into a file. But now they gave the option to save it as HTML directly. So this log mail message is not required for now. Let us run this fluency. Permission is denied. Okay. Let me put that into some different path. So where is in downloads? Your automation HTML is got saved, right? Let us open this HTML. See this email. It got saved as an HTML and we got an options to save as a text file or Outlook template or MSG file. So whatever the options we want, we can have it. OK, and let me close this. And let me come here. So I need to copy this path or to do downloads, right? C drive. Users path to do downloads. I'll use this path. So this HTML, right? Instead of HTML, we'll go with the MSG now and let us see. Access to the path is denied. Why am I getting this? Should not happen. Let us see what actually it saved. So it saved in the Outlook item. We can open that in the Outlook and we can see. OK, so these two are cool. We can save in this, but let us try to identify what actually happened to this. Now it is got OK. I didn't give the name to the extension. Downloads. Now we got the email. Email message. We can open with this and we can see it. So previously we used to have only this activity and now they introduced the Outlook saving also and we can leverage both of them. In case if you are reading the email from IMAP or a pop three or exchange, then you need to use this save mail message. OK. Are we clear guys or you have any questions? Let me see. I'm not seeing uh, the chat. If someone posted me any questions. So any questions guys? OK, perfect, perfect. And the question which we need to think of us like this filter option for sure. They will ask. They'll ask some question around it, OK? And now. We have multiple men. Uh, we need to work with the attachments in the Outlook also. And guys, um, can we continue the session from tomorrow? Like wherever we left right now? So we will be dealing with like attachments. No, see uh, the previous session documents. Not pretty sure. Can you just give me the topic name so that I can look into that? 